Montague's message, November 17, 2013. Sit down before fact like as a little child, and be prepared to give up every preconceived notion. Follow humbly wherever and to whatever abysses nature leads, or you shall learn nothing. T.H. Huxley You are ready now to see clearly the control grid that had enclosed your minds and kept you as slaves. Never fear the truth. It is now most important that you give time and effort to exploring it. The Matrix is a system, Neo. That system is our enemy. But when you're inside, you look around. What do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters. The very minds of the people we are trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system, and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inured, so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. Morpheus, The Matrix Warner Brothers Pictures, 1999 The parasitical elite, Illuminati, never expected mankind to awaken and question their motives and their plans to destroy your planet and those who rightfully occupy it. It is time for those who are ready to explore the situation to read and fully digest the secret covenant. There, it is all clearly stated. You can see that they have carried out their plans to the detriment of humanity. Do you wish this to continue? To condemn future generations to the tyranny that these people have imposed on you? Read carefully the line. But if they ever find out that they are our equal, we shall perish then. This they must never know. Yes, my friends, the truth is sometimes stranger than fiction. But in order to release yourselves from this tyranny, you have to look with eyes wide open at what was hidden from you. I was scratching the surface of all this before I passed a spirit. I had to ask Veronica to continue to explore the dark realms of the Matrix and to assist you all to see for yourselves how badly you have been used. There is enough information out there. Good people around your world are sharing their findings with you. You are coming together and you are removing the false barriers of the past. You are children of the light, and your lights are joining together as one great light, and that, my friends, will extinguish every last vestige of darkness. Many of you are being contacted by friendly beings from other planets who wish to make friends with you and work with you when they arrive on Earth. This is good. It is preparing you for what is to come. This is the end game. How quickly it ends is entirely in your hands. You are the light and you are in control. Do not allow fear to deter you. The Cabal will expose you to fearful situations which are all designed to hold you in its control. You must make a conscious decision to stand for truth and justice for all humanity. Do not do anything that harms your fellow beings in any way. Protect them as you would wish them to protect you. You may feel that I am asking a lot of you, but if you could see the full picture, as we in spirit can, you would quickly see that the real power is in your hands and it is time to use it. The next few months could change everything in your world for the better. Are you up for this challenge? The challenge is not just for men. Women must take their just place as equals. There must be balance for this to succeed, and succeed it will. How many times do I need to remind you to go back to Ireland? You will find all the answers there. Ireland is the key that will unlock everything. Ireland is ready to give up her secrets. This is why you see the banks exerting their power in an attempt to prevent this. It is also obvious to the observer. Every time Ireland steps forward, the Vatican, Crown, or banks, coming rushing in with all guns blazing, to crush them yet again. They survive the worst holocaust ever visited on mankind which the Vatican oversaw. Ireland rose once more from the ashes. Its people strive to create better lives for their children, only to be used and abused over and over again. Through their music they remember the bad times. They sing, forgotten is the race that no one knows or should I say, no one is allowed to know. I love to go to Ireland. I love the energy. The genuine spirituality of its people has to be experienced to be understood. 
it is like no other. Do not look on the cabal with anger or hate. That will only diminish you as a person of light. Remember, they are in fear of you. You are the many, they are the few. Send them love, so much love that it will extinguish the darkness that they thrive on. They are to be pitied. Their great plans have come to nothing, and they are now at your mercy though they continue to pretend otherwise. Do not be fooled by their arrogance. They are finished. Go forward with dignity and control, as they are now being blocked and prevented from carrying out many of their dastardly deeds. They do not have control anymore. It is time for good people to come together to discuss how to go forward to create a world of peace and justice. The removal of all weapons of destruction has to be handled by those who are qualified to do so. Such weapons will never again be needed. You know in your souls that there is something terribly wrong with the way your world operates. Once he embarks on the path of discovery to find out what that is, there is no going back on his quest. The implication here is that once we drink of the stream of knowledge, our lives can never be the same again. Our worldview changes forever and our lives become an everlasting adventure. Ireland, Land of the Pharaohs. Andrew Power. I could not have put it better myself. That says it all. Do give it some thought. It is all opening up before you. Enjoy the adventure of a lifetime. My dear, we assist and guide all who ask for help. We are happy to do so. Everything is opening up and being exposed. Nothing can remain hidden anymore. Do try to get a break, now and again. It is too much to cope with, seven days a week. It is all coming together just as we planned. Know that you are loved and cherished. Your adoring Monty. Channeled by Veronica Keen. MontagueKeen.com